I'm just here at my favorite auction yard. Another big sale coming up. This is the fall sale. And I thought I'd stop in and and give it a give it a look over. Yo, what's the sale? There's actually someone was telling me that there's a 359 Pete here, so we'll see if we can find that one and, and uh, it's always a good day for looking at trucks. All those giant wheels. That's a peg knees on the front of that haze. Oh, I like the tuft. That's interesting. They did the diamond tuft, but then they did the old school pleats in the back. Oh, this is a nice Kenworth. 4,000 kilometers. Oh no, that's on the trip meter. 28,000 clicks. Man, it's still got that new car smell. Oh, what a beauty. Yeah, it's a pretty narrow bunk. It's almost like the old coffin sleeper, but at least it's got a window and it's open. Drink holders and everything. Yeah, that's a nice truck, but too new for me. This thing's gonna go for a pretty penny, I'm sure. It's a six-figure tri-drive. Shore power. Bought that off a boat kit. Bag cab. Added some lights on there. Well, that's interesting. Piss eye gauge. I wonder what that's for. Tractor air, maybe? Man, that wheel's far forward. Look at that. It's got to be like 10 feet from the back end here. That's what salt will do. Huh. Neat. There's lots of tri drives. An anteater. Moose bumper. Oh, cool. Oh, look at this beauty. Tri drive. Gravel box is all polished up. Bale trucking. Yeah, 120,000 kilometers. Probably still going to go for 80, 90,000. I'm betting. Good beauty, though. Oh, he's got a fleet of them. Huh. The bank took them back and selling them all off. Probably going to be sold in a lot, so whatever the highest price or the highest bidder will get to pick if he wants one, two, or three of them and which ones. And then they go again on the remaining two and, and so on. But yeah, those are beautiful trucks. Oh, someone's selling his toy. Look at this thing. Two 300 Mercs on the back. Probably needs it just to push it through the water. That is a big old boat. Look at these bad boys. Max speed, 30 miles per hour. 66 by 43 on a 25 inch rim. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'll walk underneath to change the oil. Oh, telescoping. 
telescoping steering. I don't know how to get back there it is. Huh. That's like a backup camera. That's quite the bench seat. Four reverse gears. And eight forward gears. Canadian Commanders. Built by Lennox Welding and Supply. Right on. Oh, it's even got a sunroof. Or that's probably an escape hatch. Yeah. If there's a fire in here. Boy, you sure gotta be careful stepping out of the vehicle. You slip off of that and you're gonna have a you're gonna have a pretty bad day. <laughs> Man, is that ever ugly? Ugly motherfucker. But mean looking. It's like the bumper on Peg's Haze. It's quite the D-ring. Must be for dragging this thing out of the mud with a cat, I'm guessing. You just pull it off of there and hook on. Well, that's interesting. What did they delete this thing? That stack of leaves. This thing must ride just minty. <laughs> the engine looks small in a truck this big. <laughs> right on. There's another one, Marauder. Well, oil field hauling. I know all those towns. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is a Peterbilt. I wonder why, what's with the tiny little steering wheels? I guess maybe because they articulate, so you don't want to have a lot of left right movements. So you don't want a really big steering wheel. a giant machine and a tiny little gas pedal. Looks like something off an old Chevy. Oh, it's got a chrome pipe on it. Oh, an old Detroit. Oh, that's the little, little Detroit. Goodyear 73 inch tires. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, and it's got front brakes. We need front brakes for on a truck that only does 30 miles an hour. Yeah. I can barely reach the deck. That's crazy. It's like an old UFA truck with the sticker taken off. School buses. Peg and I should buy a couple school buses and have a demo derby. You can imagine what it'd be like if they did, right? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Your smash and little pay star. With the, that's with the wrap on the tank. Interesting. Why would he wrap the fuel tank? Oof. That's nasty. Looks like the nine speed gave up the ghost and they put a 15 in. Somewhere along the way. Auto car. I don't imagine these are gonna go for much. Another, another wrap tank. Why? Maybe the uh, viewers out there know. No one knows why you would, 
insulate and foil tape and duct tape the hell out of your fuel tank let me know well, maybe it's not no it's not a fuel tank that's probably water yeah that's probably water and they want to keep it from freezing in the winter when they're driving around yeah what am i oh sometimes i'm not too bright there's the diesel there so that's just water for the cement huh I wonder if I got a heat trace or something. I gotta get one of those for my for my bench. Old shaker. Oh man, they had the armor all going on this thing. Someone took a little pride in the interior, polished up the chrome rings. Look at the uh, glitter snobs. Yeah, I like people that take pride in their vehicle and keep it clean. It's nice to see. <laughs> Look at these cute little feet. Truck size tires. Looks like a one ton. One ton wheels. automatic just to run around town oh I think I need that oh look at that thing West cat sour sealed oil and water hauling I like the wide front wheels on it I don't know if they had their cat logo laser cut on the diamond plate. Classic Kenworth. Oh, it's an automatic though. No. Yeah, this must be an A. It's got the same cover plate I had on Snowman. And then the two switches on this side. Yeah, same vintage as, as Project Snowman. <laughs> Swamp donkey. <laughs> that's funny. If you're from Canada, you know what that is. You know what that's about. Well, check this out. I wonder if they, uh, so they fill the tires with liquid for added traction, I'm guessing. Again, yours can probably count on what's going on there. Swamp donkey, I love the sticker. What is this thing? description on the window here interrogator off-road vacuum truck huh. it's got Cummins in it funny little cabs like driving a tractor hmm. yeah it's different Lots of gravel trucks for sale. Figure if I'm gonna buy a gravel truck, I'll buy that haze off, off peg. Oh, an old Kenny. 900A with Peterbilt heat shields. Ugh. Two tone interior. Ah, come on, he doesn't know how to close the door. Oh, an ivory knob. And a low air wigwag. I'm gonna add one of those to the snowman. It'd be pretty easy. It just senses probably anything below, I don't know, 60 PSI. It probably just flops down. Yeah, I gotta look for one of those at a wrecker. Be a nice addition. Well, that's interesting. He's got a, a 
electric brake. Oh, I, I know why. He was probably pulling a, a tandem trailer um, for hauling a bobcat. And so he needed electric brakes. Curious how you wire that in though. One person was telling me that you can wire this to the uh, to the taillights, so the intensity of the taillights, and it applies. Because, of course, in a big truck, you've got air brakes, and how does this thing sense how much air pressure is going on? So, got to figure that out eventually if I want to pull my camper properly. Oh, crooked Kenworth. Nice. Wish I had a screwdriver. I'd like to look behind here and, and uh, take some pictures so I know how to wire my, my Kenworth. Oh, check that out, high idle. Isn't that fancy peg? That's where they went to in the 70s. They uh, upgraded from the bolt on the pedal to the to an electronic switch. Now that's interesting. I think this might be a factory step because it is centered under, uh, to the door. Because as I mentioned in earlier videos, most of these are the passenger side step so this steps kind of all the way over here and it doesn't line up with the with the door but that one's pretty centered so that might actually be a factory driver's side step cool oh isn't that an interesting bag system must be an early kenworth well it's a hendrickson but it's a four bag no that's not a bag that's solid oh mark come on Give your head a shake. It almost looks like a, a big bushing, big solid rubber bushing. I don't think I've ever seen that suspension. I mean, this is the same as, as uh, Snowman with the walking beam, but I've never seen it with the soft mounts. Huh. Oof. Little tiny bit of rust jacking over there. Just a touch. Pintle. Yeah, so he's got the seven pin for a proper popper wagon. But then this must have been just to pull a just to pull a regular trailer. Truck trailer. Nice. Yeah, so this is the proper way the headlight surrounds are supposed to mount, right flush against the hood. And I can't seem to get either the metal ones or the plastic ones to line up. So I'm thinking the studs that these screws go into are too long and maybe mine was a particular special year or something but what i'm probably going to do is just cut down those studs and then have it mount flush but that's another thing i'm missing too is the, the little reflectors i'm sure i could find that somewhere and just run a screw through or some sticky tape oh red back like the 73 yeah you'll see that a lot now some people were commenting that it's from rocks flipping up from the front tire and then impacting the hood underneath and causing those stars. Looks like they just paint it over it. And if you don't actually grind them out, they'll, uh, they'll creep through the paint again. Huh. The old Canadian intake. And they didn't do a very thorough job sanding up there. Just throw some white paint over it and send it to auction. It'll be fine. Oh, an old star with the wagon wheels or the spiders, as my Aussie friends call them. 22s or 24s. Uh, 24 fives. Huh. That's some creative welding that was going on here. So they must have took an extra piece of frame off another truck from a wrecker. Just kind of made it up here and just started welding. Works, I guess. Huh. And they upgraded all the airlines to the new plastic lines. Someone put a little bit of effort in this truck. We've got an airbag cab, big old grounding strap. That's actually a good idea. Always have bad grounds. Muffler, you don't need a muffler. Mm. 
cold air intakes or warm air intakes I guess grill bars for days oh I was expecting it to be a lot heavier it leaves the grill attached to the radiator it makes it a lot lighter oh, an old 855 Cummins She's probably pretty loyal. It's a little low. Right in the middle. There's some oil in it. <clears throat> front brakes. You don't need front brakes gotta be the skinniest frame I've ever seen. Just turns into a plate right at the front there. It's got coolant. Alright, let's see if she sings for us. Contact. change is real and must be fought. Well, these old Cummins always smoke though until they warm up. Nothing new there. That's interesting. That's really a uh, 12 to 24 volt starter deal there. It's up on the firewall. Projected didn't sound that bad. what this old wreck's gonna go for. It's kind of a fun project to have a western star. Oh, rust jacking for days. Oh, here we go. Terra Nova Ventures. Oh, it's a newer 389 hood. Put the big seven inch rounds on there. Oof. Smells a little rough. Yeah, these things are holding their value. Probably still go for 70, 80, although 1.6 million. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's still a hood though, and it looks decent. I bet you 60 grand, 65 for sure. Oh, this old classic. steering wheel. Yeah. Double bunk. Nice freight liner. Short hood though. Then again, short hoods matter. Flowers of the sandblaster, this thing would be good as new. It's got hydraulics, I could pull an end dump with it. Although, I always find it hilarious when guys are pulling end dumps with big stand up sleepers. It's like, got a good deal on the truck, did you? <laughs> That's probably a bull hauler. They love the wings up on the hood. Oh, orange peel for days. I don't feel so bad about my paint job now. I'll even put a fancy stream on it. Oh my God, what is that smell? Oh yeah, she's got a, she's got a stink to her. It's just nasty in here. It smells like somebody died. Oh, <laughs> damn. Oh. Was he hauling the cows in the, in the sleeper? Jeez. Mike Vale Trucking. Why does that name ring a bell? Old 8,000 or maybe a 9,000? <laughs> Funny. Squirrel. Yeah, that's that valve I had to mount on snowman. I figured it was important. Do not step on. Who the hell's stepping there? You'd have to be 12 feet tall to get your leg up there. Oh, maybe he means... No, but you... Why the hell would you step on that? That doesn't make any sense. Well, that's the, the crookedest trailer dolly I've ever seen. Or dolly uh, trolley. Come on, Mark, use your brain. Oh, this, this brings me back. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Someone was complaining, don't use your finger on the engine start button. you got to use your thumb. So there you go. I used my thumb. Nice. What's in this old Louisville? You can customize the hell out of this thing. Bag it, lower it right down, put some giant 8 or 10 inch stacks on it. Oh, it's bagged in the back already. I like the Teflon cover. I should almost get that for, for my trucks. Oh, yeah. I'm digging this old Ford. Peg, if I buy it, can I hide it at your house so Mrs. Princex doesn't know about it? Oh, another 
jake brake is not working oh. i'm sure it could be fixed yeah i'm digging this truck almost want to buy it just for the b block huh. looks like lincoln hawks volvo so I was watching over the top there while I was working on Snowman. I just had it on in the background a couple weekends ago. And I will oh, look at that. Chrome knobby and a chrome, well, it's plastic. Boy, that thing would break off the easy, this little shifter. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, Squirrel, I was watching over the top and of course, Lincoln Hawk, oh, sorry, those pedals. Lincoln Hawk was going to win the uh, the Volvo truck there. And that movie was 1986. And they were saying, and the winner of the arm wrestling championship wins, what did he say, a two hundred or $250,000 Volvo white truck. A $250,000 Volvo white tractor truck. And I'm thinking, 250 grand? There's no way that thing was 250 grand back in 1986. But... Maybe someone out there that was buying trucks in 86 can tell me if that was true or not. Because that, that seems like a hell of a lot of money for back then. Boy, such a fancy truck. Even got little chrome nut covers. And then uh, it's got the cheapest mud flaps money can buy. Nice. Well, that's kind of cool. Got a single stack. Huh, yeah, no thanks. D13 Volvo Power. Yeah, I don't see any 379s or the 359 I'm looking for. I wonder if it's still in the back. Ooh, big old Series 60 Detroit. That engine's worth more than the truck. Man, look at this wreck. Huh. Ugh. I don't know if I wanna sit in this one. <laughs> Ah, just kidding, I don't care. Oh, God. Man, I've been in some nasty trucks before, but this particular auction is uh, is winning out. That is brutal. Yeah. I'll give you 500 bucks for the Detroit, but you gotta keep the truck. Oh, there's a nice L. Aero cab. Yeah, I like these Kenworths. Actually, the uh, the owner, previous owner of my Pete, Sean there, he's got a wicked Aerodyne Kenworth, a purple one. And uh, he let me drive it there years ago when I first got the Pete. And it's a beauty, big old Cummins 18 speed. I should almost, when I go out there to visit him with the Pete, I should almost try and talk him out of it. But again, I'm out of space, so I'm going to have to, maybe what I'll do, my cousin suggested, just start buying trucks and, and stashing them in different places and squirreling them away until you can actually uh, build them. Which isn't a bad idea. Well, there's a crack in your back differential. Oh, no problem. We can just weld that close. It'll be fine. Big old star. DD16. DD speed shop. Holy cow, this thing's high. Oh, an electronic shutdown. Usually it's a air switch. Oh, not an automatic. No, 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 no. Big beautiful truck like this. It's a push button Matic. Yeah, still a nice truck though. I don't mind Western Stars, even though they didn't hire me when I graduated engineering. I think I told that story before, but I wrote a big long letter to Western Star when they were being built in Kelowna for I graduated mechanical engineering. And I said, you know, I'd be the perfect guy because I'm so passionate about trucks. I'd love to work for your company. They didn't even give me a reply letter, a PFO letter. So yeah, I'm still mad at Western Star for that. Oh, 
I don't even have to rename this one. That's perfect. No, it's got to have 1.6. Can't just be 600,000. Yeah, maybe though. It's pretty new. Pedals don't look that worn out. Uh, what year? Data manufacturer 2011. That's uh, still 10, 12 years old. Bet you it still goes for 60 or 70,000. And that's kind of cool because what you can do, you can really pick up a trailer. If it's sitting on the ground there, you can back under it. And it only needs to be about here. And if you do it right, you'll slide it right up. Looks like they've done that trick before. And pick it up and slam it into your, into your fifth wheel. Yeah. Oh. This color and shape looks familiar. I like the lights with the little purple deal in the middle there. It's a bag. What do we got here? A little 389, yeah. A little newer. Big chrome shifter. And a new school glitter knob. Different. Oh, I like the uh, inverter. That probably comes in handy. Miles on this bad boy. 1.2 kilometers, I guess. So, what, I don't know, 850,000 miles? Bet you still goes for 70. Oh, here we go. 379 hood. Big eight inch pipes. Oh, classic wood interior. Oh, that's nice. Nice touch. Little red light over the logo. Oh, I put in, I don't know if that's hardwood or laminate, but man, this looks nice. 500,000, probably 1.5 or 2.5. Wow. Yeah, I'm liking this one a lot. But these 379s, they are going for a pretty penny. Oh, sounds like a big old cat. Oh, and the air conditioning works. Come 
Tom misses twin six. Can I have one more, please? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be able to put my kids through college if I bought this thing. Guess the sticky tape came off. Is that all that holds them on there? You'd think you'd put a little screw in the corners or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not a fan of the plastic. It just seems like a fleet truck compared to that 379 I just looked at. 379 just reeks of class. A lot of Kenny's. Another shaker, and there is a lot of trucks at this sale. It's like Pro N2 or Pro Nitrogen is from Innisfail selling all their trucks. Got about four or five here. Either they're selling them or the bank's selling them. If the latter, that's. That's sad. Oh, another 379. Yeah, I don't know about the the racing flags there. Oh, big pipes. Heat shields, so he doesn't get stopped at the, the truck cops. Oh, a smoker that's trying to cover it up with some sort of cleaning spray. It smells like cigarettes. It does smell like cigarettes a bit, I guess. Kitties aren't supposed to smell like cigarettes. They're supposed to smell like kitties. Oh, another Terranova Ventures. Oh, man. This one's got a few miles on it. You can tell it's just worn right off, worn the paint off. Yeah, 1.7. Hmm. Late model 379. Yeah, it looks like they're still doing the maintenance on it. February 22. Frames a little rusted out. This chaos makes perfect sense. Yes, it does. Welcome to Earth, third rock on the sun. Yeah, some good sandblasting to clean this bad boy up. Tanks need a little polish. Oh, looks like the bands wore through, so they welded another strip there and then just moved the, the tank forward. Or no, they just welded a real wide strip on there so the tank band has something new to cut into you don't need new tanks as long as you got an aluminum welder i'm digging that metallic red paint though that would look good on the duke I see it in the sun there but it's a nice color ah oh flat glass kenny nice old b model A little bit of rust. A big old tack and speedo. Oh, that's nice. Hmm. Long chassis. Almost looks like a logging headache rack. Been pelted with rocks many times. Ooh, anti smoke valve. He's even got a little mount for it. Isn't that nice. What the hell is on those pipes? I love the paint. Nice sovereign blue. Look at it, are those lights? What? what the heck? Is that a light? Unbelievable. Man, that, you look up tacky in the dictionary, and he did a nice job mounting it too. Just kind of Mickey Mouse zip tie it in there. It'll be fine. Okay, where's the switch for that? 
I want to see how stupid that looks. I know, I should make fun. Somebody thought that was cool. Oh man, look at this hack job. Oh, it just plugs in. So they weren't even for driving. You just plug it in when he parked it? Huh. Yeah, that's funny. Nice work, whoever put that on there. Okay, that is getting weird. This is the third time I found this 362 Pete. First time was on vacation in BC. Second time was at auction, I don't know, a couple auctions ago. And now here it is again. So there, there's gotta be something wrong with this thing. That's all I can figure. Unbelievable. Doesn't look like they've done anything to it. Why the hell? Does it keep coming to auction? Well, they took the key. Guess they don't want people starting it. Or someone pulled it off of there and stole it. No. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see what it goes for one more time. I mean, the only thing I could think of is the person that bought it from BC bought it to, to flip it at auction and try and make some money on it. And then the person that bought it last time, maybe they had big dreams and empty pockets or they just lost interest. And so they're flipping an auction again or they figure they're going to make even more money. But I don't know. <laughs> that is crazy. Oh, this item is out of sale. Okay, so maybe they pulled it at the last minute. That's why the key's not in it. So maybe, what, he changed his mind at the last minute? Weird. This is a, this is a strange deal with this old Pete. Maybe she wants to come home with me. Oh, I put a couple new tires on it. Probably drove it around a little bit. There must be something wrong with it. That's the only thing I can think of. These are cool. Little pre-made cabins. Huh. That's awesome. A little loft bed in the front. It's wired too, with lights. Fan, it's all brand new. <laughs> A little porta potty. Wow, this is cool. I wonder what these things are going for. All pre-made and sealed up. Just need to, to buy a trap line, I guess, or, oh, that's neat. Burnt a little moose into the, into the bench there. This is really cool. The only problem is, oh no, I guess there is a, there is a stove or a pipe for a wood heater. So you just put your own little wood heater there and it's supplemented with electricity. Oh, these are lovely. Yeah, sealed up and everything. There's a bunch of them too. When it comes with the moose antler. There's the toy section. I need one of these for the truck show. I'm trying to bring my camper this year, but they park us way at the back of the other side of the field. So a lot of guys have uh, golf carts to go back and forth. I missed my old CR500. Gotta get one, but I'm starting to get too old. Oh, an XCR. Mark, you're getting distracted. This channel's supposed to be about trucks. Oh, even an old leafer. Under triple. Need some cardboard. <laughs> yeah, probably ain't gonna start. Summit, track conversion for a quad. So I'm just at the inoperable side of the yard. And this is where you're, you're really rolling the dice. Because with all the ether and, and uh, 
battery boosting in the world can't get these things to run, so. But this is where you get the good deals, I suppose. Oh, look at that wing on the sleeper. That just reeks classy. <laughs> just don't see those anymore. Uh, I don't know if I can get up to see it. Oh, yeah. Nice. I remember I mentioned in one video I was going to put one of those on my, my Pete, and everyone's like, oh, please don't. Terra Nova Ventures. They got a lot of trucks that don't run. Oof. Probably, uh, probably a few wiring issues. I hate wiring issues. Oh yeah, probably trying to get the signal lights working. I can't stand wiring issues. You just spend so much time chasing your tail. Uh oh, and this looks like it's got some kind of ooh, Mercedes Benz module. Must have a big old Detroit in it. Yeah. Oh, Mercedes Benz powered. Come on, Mark, use your brain. A Mercedes diesel. Yeah. There's definitely some junk over here. Yeah, Mercedes Benz, but it's it's a uh, there's somehow there's some connection. Maybe the viewers can comment down below between Detroit diesel and Mercedes. Huh. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty rare engine though. Don't see a lot of those on the road. <laughs> what a cute little turbo. There's bigger turbos on a 12 valve. And they're Chrysler in Brazil. Yeah, I imagine the trucks in this section, I mean, there's one, parts have been scabbed off it already, so probably the wreckers come and buy these and bid on these ones if they figure they can make money on the parts man that is a heavy hood Ooh, that's an old beauty Clean harbors because i can't seem to oh, check out the paint job on that old beauty oh an old army truck well half an army truck those wheels these are the diffs that uh the top drive diffs with the front wheel steering or not front wheel steering but like you could uh, it's a front axle not a rear solid and this is these are the ones that what's his name diesel dave there those guys they uh the diesel brothers they always take these and, and put them on their builds huh it's a lot of steel here Oh, look at that. I love those gauges. Yeah, this is a lot like the one whole Stallone drove. Huh, very cool. I mean, a guy could take this. Oh, there's your air conditioning. Just open up the window. Hey Peg, I found our next revive and drive. We just gotta bolt some wheels onto the back <laughs> and a couple differentials. Oh, it's a convertible too. Look at a soft top. Right on. Oh yeah, needs an engine too. I guess that's why it's inoperable. I wonder what was in here, probably an old Detroit or something. Oh, there's a 359 I've been looking for. Yeah, so it must not run an old Gibson's truck, really. Oh, I like the, the bench shifter. There's no, uh, why did that seem not right? I guess it's because it's all one, one color. There's usually carpet on the bottom four inches. Oh, the nice ivory peat steering wheel. In decent shape. Yeah, I love the shifter. That is cool. Yeah, the interior 
sure it needs some work. Yeah, mice have been in here. Wow, an inoperable 359 peat. I'll give you a thousand dollars for it. Again, I'll need to uh, I'll need to store this somewhere. If only I knew someone that has lots of space and it doesn't mind parking old junk in their yard. Double rounds on the original mounts. Proper intake. Oh, it's even got air conditioning. Bet you that covers. All cracked up up there. Ah! Good old peat hoods. Hey, what do we got for a power plant? Oh, Cummins. Ah, nice. I wonder why it doesn't run. Maybe they just ran out of ether. Oof. Why is that so runny? Why is it all the way up? Is that coolant in there? Yeah. It somehow got a lot of liquid in the oil. So something's not happy with this, with this engine. That's okay, you can pull that out of there. Oh, she's pretty rotten. It's a new roof cap. Yeah, that's pretty common for our Alberta trucks. Don't you want to bet that frame is rust jacked all to hell? Looks like they pounded out a lot of the a lot of the rust. Oh, use some tires. Oh, look at the back of the cab. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna need a little work. I mean, if a guy could get into it for for next to nothing. You could probably turn this into a decent truck. I'd, I'd change this over to the to the step and then move the fuel tank back. But you could hack off the frame and then put a newer clip on there and extend it out. I've always dreamed of having a 350 inch or 359 inch uh, wheelbase 359. I always thought that would be cool. Just make this thing as long as a train. Big old stacks. Yeah, it's got potential. Let's see what it goes for.